Today on Two Crazy Kiddos, we're going to finally review Lolly's Cookie Clusters. Time to get our cookie on right, right after, after this. this. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Kitas. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Kitas, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to review these Lolly's cookie clusters and I've heard about them. I've seen people talk about them. And for some reason, we just never, ever tried them. I cannot be the only person who every single time I hear Lolly's, I think Lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. What is that? Are you kidding me? No, never heard of that. From Schoolhouse Rock. Lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. Lolly, 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 got some adverbs here. Come on down to Lolly's, get the adverbs here. I guess so. I guess it, it, it's very similar. Yes. So, well, let's talk about these things because, again, we've never tried them. I've seen people talk about them, and I finally, like, looked on their website, and I'm like, uh, why haven't we tried these, especially when you get into the nutrition facts of them, which we'll talk about in our five things review. And it's combining two things we love, cookies and granola. And I'll give you a little hint. They're like four total carbs per serving. What? Total carbs. So, okay. So if you're new to our channel, we review all of our products based on five things. So what we do is we're going to taste everything and then we're going to go through the five things review. Okay. So we have four different flavors here. We have a peanut butter macadamia. Wow. We have a cinnamon pecan. Okay. We have a gingerbread. And then we have a seasonal one of pumpkin spice. Wow. Okay, so on the front here, it says, enjoy as a topping or a granola. Use it to bake cookies or to make a pie crust. It's anything you want it to be. Ooh, to make a pie crust. Yeah, I'm telling you, what? right? So very simple packaging. I was looking on their website, started by a mom of two daughters who like was keto and like, hey, there's nothing out there, so I'm going to make something. Dude, I don't need it to be fancy on the outside. I need it to be good on the inside. Yeah. And I mean, they're a small company. They have like 11 people working for her, including two of them are her daughters. And she doesn't look old enough to have two daughters. She's a baby woman. She's a baby woman. I mean, she looks incredible because keto reverses your age. Yeah. So which That's what I'm one counting on. are we going to start with? Any minute now, the clock's going to start backwards on me. Okay, so we have four flavors again. Cinnamon pecan or pecan, gingerbread, okay. peanut butter, macadamia, and pumpkin spice. Which one are we, uh -huh. which, how about, we have to go, which one do we want to end on? Yeah, that's the thing. I, I feel like I want to end on. I feel on, like I want to end on pumpkin spice. Really? I want to end on peanut butter, macadamia. Peanut butter, macadamia. So that's the finishing. Let's try with gingerbread. Okay, so we're going to start with gingerbread because that's probably going to do something with our taste buds and then we can kind of wash off when we get to the last one. I got to tell you, if this is good, I'll be shocked because I'm not usually a gingerbread person. Okay. I know it is the cookie of the holiday season, but... Not usually for me. I love this. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have our scale here with a little dish because, of course, we like to weigh out. Let's put these off to the side. What is an actual what serving? What is a serving? I'm going to put it on grams. So this is what's inside. I'm going to show you inside the bag. Okay, and then look at this. That looks incredible. Focus. There we go. It's focusing. Talk okay. about moist. Okay, so let's so a serving size on this Sorry, kids. is 28 grams. That's 18 grams. So that's actually less than a serving. Wow. That's 25 grams. So it's still not even a serving. Let's try that. We gotta find a serving here. I can see why they're why they're suggesting using it as a pie crust. Yeah. Because it looks like a pie crust. Okay. Oh, well, look at that. 29 grams. Right so in the there's, there's a serving. That's a serving size. That, that is, is nice. a pretty healthy serving. Well, especially if you crumble it up. Okay. So since we're going to do all four, we're not going to eat a full serving no. here. I mean, I'd like to, but. I would like to as well, but. Talk about derailing the day. Okay. All right. 
Oh my goodness. And Why I, have we not tried these? And I don't even like gingerbread. Wow. Why what? have we not tried these? What? What is happening I in don't this get bag? A, I don't get a strong gingerbread taste in there. I don't either, which is not, it's again, not it's not bad for me. Wow, that's just, wow. That is just delicious. <sighs> I got to say, I was a little bit afraid that something like this is going to have that cooling erythritol. Well, we haven't even gotten in, at all. We haven't got into the ingredients. We're going to get into that in the minimal. What's next? We got to try all the flavors. So cinnamon, cinnamon pecan, pecan. I feel like I'm going to love. So you want to go cinnamon pecan? You want to go pumpkin spice with holiday? Stick with holiday? Yeah. It's calling it holiday. Yeah. Right? So, okay. I don't think we need to do the serving size again. Right? Man. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. These pieces, look at this. Oh my lord. Yeah. That stuff, will you just mash that all down in a pie crust? Right? I mean, it, I mean, I don't know. Wow. So this is, what is this? I kind of want to know how much Pumpkin am I eating spice. here. How much am I eating here? I don't want to ask any question. So th this is a five gram piece, so. Wow. Wow. That wow. is good. That is good. Wow. That is crazy. Again, we haven't even, I haven't looked at the ingredients. And, um, like, are you nuts. afraid? Very nut. Uh, very nice. Well, the, I looked at the nutrition when I ordered that them. That tastes too good. And when I ordered them, I looked at the nutrition, but wow. Wow. That's a good, not overwhelming pumpkin spice. Like, the hint of pumpkin spice. Yeah. Right? Oh no. But, but the texture and mm -hmm. the and I don't the moistness. I mean. Sorry. So it's yeah, that's there. But that I want that. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go cinnamon pecan, right? Okay. If this stuff is anything as good as those, can you imagine how this would be a topper for like your sweet potato? Imitation? I don't even want to hear ice cream. That's all you no, ever no, say no. is ice cream. No, like the we we do like a a pumpkin heavy. Sweet potato casserole sweet potato alternative. Casserole. Yes. We make the Keto Connect sweet potato casserole. And oh my gosh, yes. Putting this on top instead of pecans. Game changer. Because their recipe calls for pecans across the top. Yeah. Forget that. Put this stuff. Yeah, because I mean the pumpkin spice would even work okay. with it. So. Uh, there we go. It's focusing. I've got the key now. you got to get it super close to the camera. Like just... Pick then they don't have to look at our faces. Pick that camera's nose. So, okay. So, again, 28 grams is the serving. We're, we're not even going to do a full serving. That's probably about a serving. But again, we're doing four of these. This, this isn't a bad day. Well. That reminds me. That would be really nice. On top of that, I'm gonna tell you what this reminds casserole. me of. This flavor, this is cinnamon pecan. You know what that reminds me of? And I used to make it for you before we did keto. It reminds me of my dad's carrot cake. Yes. If you, my dad had the best recipe for carrot cake, which it had loads of carrots, but you didn't taste the carrots. You would see them in the cake, right in the bread. If you drizzled a little bit of the cream cheese, like. Frosting, you know, keto frosting. Does that not taste like carrot cake? That is delicious. Like a good carrot cake. Like a good one, right? Yeah. Exactly. You're saying a good one where you have. Did I like nail that scrimped, flavor? Yeah, where you haven't like scrimped on the ingredients. Okay, here's the test. Last flavor: peanut butter macadamia. I love macadamia. I love macadamia nuts. Pre keto, my favorite cookie was white, white chocolate, chocolate macadamia, macadamia nuts. Mm -hmm. That Me was too. my favorite. You'd get, what was that, uh, what was that brand in the white bag? Pepperidge Farm. Pepperidge Farm. Oh. So, yeah. So, when I found out you can have macadamia nuts or on like keto. Sold. Yes. Oh, I got one of those bags that didn't get the seal right. Like, you, do, if you don't hit it just right, you wrestle with that bag forever. I do love the fact that these are Ziploc resealable. They need a lock on them to keep me out of it. Oh, my gosh. These look very different. Does it smell amazing? Oh, wow. Okay, that totally smells like a peanut log. 
Yeah. Okay, so these look very, very different than the other ones. They're like little balls. Balls. Look at that. Okay, so let's let's since this is the the deal, right? Let's do a serving here. Okay, so that's 15 grams of serving size. That's 14 grams. So a serving size is 28 grams. I tell you what. Okay, so that's a th serving. That's a nice serving. Three pieces. Three nice pieces, Leah. I tell you what, for the holidays, for someone who's not a great cook like me, I would totally ball those up and dip them in chocolate and, and, and try to pass it off as my own dessert. <laughs> totally. <laughs> would totally do that. So for those wow. of you who are local, when you see these kind of things show up. Right. Mm, don't tell on me. <laughs> you just told on yourself. Oh my goodness. What is that candy bar? Payday? No. Well, yeah, payday, but I'm not even thinking payday because there's no chocolate. This is the best peanut log. What was that peanut, that pe the hard brittle peanut butter, peanut candy? Remember that one? Yeah. That's but got that is, flavor. But this is so soft, though. It's soft, but it's got that flavor of the peanut, the hard brittle peanut candy. This is, this is honestly like the very best peanut log that, that you can wow. get. Peanut butter macadamia. Okay, that's the best one. That's the best one. That's the best one. Okay, you want to put this through five things review? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Does a keto base on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend I'll it? I'll tell you what I really want to do is rewind, turn this off, start the review over again so I can try everything over again. No, it's you can't do that. It's that good. So, so number one, the ingredients. Okay, so I'm going to grab them all here. So the ingredients on the peanut butter macadamia, dry roasted peanuts, macadamia nuts, almond flour, erythritol, stevia, pure olive oil, and egg. Wow. Cinnamon pecan, Georgia pecans, almond flour, erythritol, stevia, um, pure olive oil, cinnamon, and egg. The only thing that's different here is it's got ginger and nutmeg and non-fat milk powder in the gingerbread one. Pumpkin spice, Georgia pecans, almond flour, erythritol, and stevia blend. Pure olive oil, orange zest, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, cloves, and egg. It does not get cleaner than this. You cannot get cleaner. The, the, the only way you could get cleaner is if they actually said, like, organic pecans. Organic. Um, I mean, and again, I mean. And maybe if you got to shake the talon of the chicken that gave the egg. Yeah. I maybe mean, then. you cannot, honestly cannot get cleaner ingredients. Like, in all of the different products that I've tried... That is the cleanest ingredient. It just doesn't get better. So number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? Okay, so I'm, I've got the pumpkin spice in my hand. Um, so there's eight servings in this bag, 180 calories per serving, 18 grams of fat, three grams of protein, four total carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber, making it one net carb per serving. This one's one net carb too. Now. I'm going to tell you, it is probably a little bit less because there is erythritol in this, which would be a sugar alcohol, and she's not l listing sugar alcohols, but probably it's because it's less than a gram per like serving because you really have no cooling effect at all. None. So no cooling effect at all. I would, I would, I'm, again, I like the, I'm always the person who touts round up rather than round down. So I'd rather you not put a sugar alcohol and know it's probably closer to like three and a half. Right. But yeah, four total carbs, one net carb per serving. So we're gonna go. We're gonna leave the one that I'm afraid to look at for last. Yeah, because it's that good. Cinnamon pecan, 28 grams, 88 uh, servings per container, 180 calories per serving, 18 grams of total fat. So the same as that one. Three grams of protein, four grams of carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber, one net carb. And that is uh, unbelievable. yeah, again, this one's got some erythritol and stevia blend. So it's probably just a little bit of erythritol, not enough to register a carb. So. Who is making this? Like wizards? <laughs> uh, last one is the one that we're worried about, right? Yes. Don't. Okay. Call. Peanut butter macadamia, 28 grams in a serving size, eight servings in the bag, 110 calories. How is that possible? Oh, um, are you kidding? There's less? There's less There's calories? There's less? <laughs> Oh my gosh. 10 grams of fat per serving, 3 grams of protein, 
three total carbohydrates. Okay. One gram of dietary fiber, two net carbs. It's got peanuts, that's why. Yeah, but still. I will I will happily eat this for three total carbs per serving. Yes, yes. So not that we're going to do this, but if I were to eat this entire bag of peanut butter macadamia in a sitting, I would be eating 880 calories, I would be eating 80 grams of fat. I would be eating 24 grams of protein. Still higher higher fat than protein. Right. And then I would be eating three times eight is 24, 24 total carbohydrates. Which and, isn't horrible. And only eight net carbs. Okay, this is dinner. That's yours. I was going to say. This I, is dinner. Well, you're you're not hurting my feelings over here. I mean, no, it is no. amazing. This one is mine. You can't have any more of this I one. mean... I would totally fight you for it. I'll Except trade for you. You can have three. Really, I'll keep in one. The only thing is they're all good. They're all of them are good. I mean, yes, this is the best. Yeah. This is the best one. Okay. So, okay. We've spent enough time on the, on the, yes, it absolutely keto is based on a nutrition label. Okay. So number three, how does it taste? I, I seriously think that that some somebody is like messing with me because this is too good. I mean, the thing about it is, I would say they're lying. I would honestly say they're yeah. lying on the I nutrition label. I hate to label. say that. However, again, looking at this, you can see every ingredient in there. I think they just so have do you know, does their that make chemistry correct. You can see every ingredient in there. This is just like. It's master baking going on here that they just, did you just eat more? You better hand some of that over, son. Cause this, this is crazy good. That is so good. Here's the thing. I gotta put this away. This needs to go in like all the holiday recipes. Things where you need a crust, things where you need a topping. No. Like it's so good. No, We're, we'll talk about that number five. Do not waste this on a recipe. This is this is just a delicious dessert or with dinner kind of snack. I'm, I'm Do not you. waste this on ice cream. Don't waste it in a pie crust. It is that good. I'm okay. telling you. Number four. I want it everywhere. Number four. How much does it cost? Okay, here we go. Is Are we going to have to like, now, like get we, rid of one of the children? Like cause... we've talked about before, keto snacks can tend to be a little bit more money mostly because of the ingredients you've yeah. got healthier ingredients there's no you know preservatives in there so like you don't have the long of a shelf life it's easy when you can put a bunch of maltodextrin and preservatives in there make it in bulk stick it on a shelf and it's good for five years or if you, you can't do that with keto snacks or if you have something where the cookie has a fourth of a macadamia nut in it right. not that the whole thing is very heavy but, on yeah almonds look at and the ingredients nuts. on this almond flour is expensive macadamia nuts are expensive i mean all of this stuff is expensive so yes they tend to be expensive okay you got me braced here What's happening? Fifteen dollars a bag. Okay. I don't think that's expensive. I honestly don't Not think. Not when expensive. I bought like macadamia nuts recently. Yeah, I just don't think that that is super expensive. That's eight servings. So what does that come out to be? That's about two dollars a serving. That's like eating a perfect keto bar. That's like eating any of your other snacks. I did message her though when I asked her, like, said I'd like to try these and do a review on it. They did give us, give us a coupon code. It is two crazy ketos. It will get you 10% off of your your order. And they have sales a lot of times. Okay. And so, will they combine it? Yes. So they'll have, when they have sales, we'll always, we can always put a thing up on our like Facebook family group, like mm -hmm. that they're having a sale. And yeah, you get 10% off with the code two crazy ketos. So I don't think it's super expensive. I don't think so either. And here's the thing, pre-keto, one bag was one serving, but now I watch my serving size. So right. I'm going to get like the eight servings out of it. Yep. Because I'm just watching it for my own macros. Yep. Okay. So number five, would we recommend this? I'm going to say I would absolutely recommend this. And this, no, no kidding. Okay. I don't know how you <laughs> feel, but we've tried a lot of different granolas. Yeah. We've tried a lot of different like cookies. Yep. This is the best one that I've tried yet. This is the best one that I've and tried. And then add in, not only is this the best tasting one, and there's a lot of my life. This is not knocking the other products like Grapau or any of those. I'm no. not knocking those. No. This is the best tasting one. Then combine it with the ingredients and the total carb thing. Yeah, the total carb thing like is really. Because 
usually Amazing. for us, be, what we do is whenever it is a packaged product, right? We follow like more on total carbs with that. We do net carbs Just for like safe. our vegetables and things like that. Unless it's a dessert day, which is Fridays, you know, we would usually be like, hey, this is the only day we can have this because the carbs are going to bring us up. And I am bracing myself for a 15 total carb type of snack. Right. But this isn't And a we account for that. This is four total carbs. So this is something that I can have. Four. I can have some of these every day if I want Three. with my lunch. Yeah. Or with my dinner. I can say like, I'm going to have one cluster or honestly, a half a cluster would be a half a serving when as a little thing. Are we going to get peak yogurt down here? I Oh my gosh. Right? Because the combination of both of those things together <laughs> brings a tear to my eye. Okay. We're going on too long. So Sorry. That is our video for today. Let us know down in the comments section if you have ever tried lollies. Because I don't know why we have not tried this today. I don't either. I don't know. I'm probably glad that we haven't because, yeah, we would be broke right now. Yeah. Um, let us know if you've ever tried this. Let us know if you have what your favorite flavor is. Are these all the flavors? These are the four flavors that they have. So please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.